Hello everyone, this is Ramu. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a basic animation using Sony Vegas Pro 13 version. Just to give you an idea how the output looks like, here is a sample example that I can show to you. I'm just playing the video. So here is the sample text, light rays appearing. The light traverses through the text from one direction to other direction or one corner to another corner followed by a fade off. Now let's quickly jump to Sony Vegas Pro. Here is a basic interface with few options available and a preview window on the right hand side followed by the timeline underneath over here. Now without wasting any further time let's quickly insert a video track by right clicking over here insert video track followed by another right click within the video track to insert text media here is the text media editing dialog where we can change the font size font color play around with that for the simplicity of this tutorial, I'll leave it to sample text. I'll close this window. By default, the media inserted will be of 1 or 2 seconds. I'll expand it to close to 20 seconds to get the animation completed within that time. Now, the next step would be to make the fade in and fade out effects which can be done by clicking and dragging the top right and left blue indicators to the opposite direction so let me start with the left one as you can see it is a fade in with the default offset set to zero I'm going to click and drag a little bit and repeat the same on the other end to make the fade off or a fade out Now let me quickly show you what's the output right at this point. Please have a look at this preview window. So click and drag the cursor, fade in, followed by fade out. Now let me drag it back to zero position and then add video effects. To add the video effects, we need to click on this icon over here, which stands for event effects. All these three icons would appear on every media that you insert in Sony Vegas timeline. Now, let me go ahead and click the event effects, which opens the effects dialog. By default, all these effects will come with the package. I'll go ahead and select Sony Light Rays, add, and then OK. Now, because we need to animate, the first thing that we need to do is click on animate button over here to bring up the timeline or a time frame where we can set the animation now the first thing that you need to notice is this marker over here so basically markers if at all you are familiar with any of the video editing softwares you know about the marker that we set and make some configurations within this so let me go ahead and drag the slider to few seconds before that, let me pull off the strength and the x-axis to zero. You'll know like why I did that in few minutes. Move the slider to a certain extent. And as you can see in the background, the actual cursor on the timeline is also moving. That happens because I synced both these using this icon or using this option. Now, let me go ahead and place one of the marker over here the first thing is to increase the light intensity as you can see I'm increasing the strength to about 0.8 okay. and the marker has been set now the light rays are oriented towards one side now the next step would be to bring the orientation to the opposite side giving the animation effect to do that I'll drag the slider furthermore and 
change the x axis from 0 to 1 and if you notice in the preview window over here you'll see the light rays changing their orientation from one corner to other corner like that now if I click and drag the cursor you'll be able to see the animation as if the light rays are traversing through the text. Now the last step is to set the fade off the again like this animation. So I'll move it to the point where the fade off is about to start right over there and pull the strength back to zero and then fade out. I'll close the window. That's all you need to do. So here is a complete animation, fade in, light rays traversing through the text from one corner to other corner and then fade off. In order to render that, all you need to do is click and hold the yellow indicator above the timeline or a time scale like that and go to file, render as, Select the extension or the format that you want to export this video as and select the output folder. Click OK. Render and close. That's all you need to do. Hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel to get to know about more animation or like uh, Photoshop tutorials. If at all you have any questions, please feel free to put them in YouTube comments and I'll be happy to assist you. Once again, have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.